Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So one important aspect of tuning is data logging. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to data log using this cheap cable here. So what you're going to need is your chip ECU uh, and we're going to get that ready for data logging as well as a laptop and this cheap cable here. What this cable is here is an FTDI USB cable. It's a USB to TTL cable, so it's an FT232 cable. So you remember all those um, acronyms or whatever that I'm shouting out right now because that's what you're going to need to search up this cable. This cable has an FTDI chip in it that allows it to send and receive data. So what this cost me is $6 Canadian, which is about $4.50 US. Um, so that's really cheap and really easy way to get data logging on your ECU. Um, so we're going to get started by basically getting the ECU ready for data logging. So let's go. All right, guys. So here's my ECU. First things first is make sure you install your data logging port, this yellow port here. Um, this is very important because you're going to need this in order for you to data log. Next, what you're going to do is right around here is a resistor, J12. You're going to need to remove that. If you have a P20 ECU, this is where it's located. You're going to need to remove that resistor that's there. You can desolder it, clip it off, whatever you prefer, but that needs to be removed. Next, we're going to install the cable. So here is the cable. There's a bunch of wires here, obviously. Um, so the wire pinout for this specific cable is like red is five, uh, five volts, a uh, black is ground, um, you know, white is RX and green is TX, yellow is, um, RTS. We don't need to know all those co wire colors. What we do need to know is we need black, which, which is ground. We're going to need white, which is RX, as well as we're going to need green, which is TX. That's all we need. Three diff three wires. These, uh, let me. It's hard to do with one hand. These three wires right here. This is all we need um, in order for you to get this cable ready. Now the pin out on the ECU go from left to right. There's four pins here. Um, the first pin is ground. Second pin is TX. Third pin is five volt, which we're not going to use. Uh, and the fourth pin is RX. So we're just gonna plug that in um, real quick and then I'll show you guys how to data lock. All right guys, so there you go. The pins are installed. So it is first pin ground, second pin TX, uh, third pin skip, and then fourth pin, it is RX. So that's how you would install the cable. Once that's installed, now we're gonna plug it into the laptop and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to set it up. All right, we're gonna switch over to laptop view now and I'm gonna show you guys how to set everything up. All right guys, to start things off, you're gonna to wanna to go into your browser and you wanna open up um, Google. And you're gonna search up FTDI drivers and you'll download some drivers uh, because you'll need it for the cable. Um, so you go into VCP drivers, which is virtual COM port drivers and you can download the latest one what I'm currently uh, doing, what I currently did is I downloaded this version, the 2.12.28 version, and that seems to work. Um, but, you know, Windows has already updated it to the latest version anyways. But if you guys are having issues with the, the latest version, maybe go with the older version and then see if it updates. Um, but after you've installed your drivers, you're going to want to go into your device manager. So here's where you're going to set up your COM port. Um, the COM port is basically wherever you plug in your USB. So I'm just going to unplug it and you can see it will disappear. As you can see, the COM port is gone. And then now that I'm going to plug it back. And it shows up again. So you're going to want to go into the settings and you want to match the speed to the speed in your uh, tuning software. Uh, however, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I've done is just maxed it out and it'll just recognize in the software regardless. So uh, you could do the same. So now we're gonna open up Honda Tuning Suite because that's the software that we're using to data log. You could do it with Chrome as well, but Chrome, you need to install the data logging um, part to your map and burn it to, to uh, a ROM before you could, um, I mean, burn it to a chip before you can actually start tuning. Uh, and data logging, but this already has the capability of data logging. So this is one of the maps that I've been working on. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the car and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, data log. But first, you're going to need to go into settings in your software 
and obviously set up your COM port for data log. So right here, I have the, the under data log, I have it under COM port 5, and the speed is obviously at 38400, uh, which is defaulted. I decided to leave it at that. You don't want to muck with it too much. So it, it still reads perfectly fine, but this is where you would set up your data logging port. Once that's set up, all you're going to need to do is fire up the car, go into data log, and hit start. So we're going to do that real quick, and I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. So the vehicle is now fired up. Oh, it was in gear. <laughs> but now what you want to do is you go into start and hit the data log. And as you can see, all these are being data logged now and including the O2 sensor and all that stuff. So you can see that it's running a little rich because the car is cold right now. But everything is, is data logging. As you can see here, the air fuel ratios are also data logged here. Um, but that's basically how you would set up data logging. And as you can see, just the cable for $6, everything is working. All right guys, so that's basically it for this video. That's how you would data log using that cheap cable. I hope this helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.